Hey guys, it's Justine, and today we are checking out the brand new Mac Mini. I have been a Mac Mini fan since the very first Mac Mini. I actually won my first Mac Mini on a contest on MySpace. This was super shady. The fact that I actually got a Mac Mini in the mail and not murdered is shocking to me. I think this was right when I was in college and I didn't really have a job, so I really definitely didn't have any money, didn't have a computer, I didn't really have much of anything except, I guess, my dignity, but. <laughs> So let's unbox this. It has many use cases, and I feel like for me, I may have a different use case than many people because I do edit pretty much everything on my iMac Pro. And that thing is so fast that for me to realistically use one of these to sort of offload some compressing from compressor probably isn't that realistic because my iMac Pro, I can still compress videos and edit at the same time, and usually there's no lag. So that may not be a use case, but I do plan on editing this entire video that you're watching right now on the Mac Mini. So I'll give you some updates as this video progresses. This now has an all space gray finish. It's made of 100% recyclable aluminum, which is pretty incredible because there's so many processes that they said they have to go through to sort of make this aluminum that is recycled look as perfect as it does. So that's decreasing the carbon footprint of these products by a pretty significant amount. Oh wow, it's just right there. I was not ready for that. <laughs> oh, look at you. They also have a larger air vent, so that will help with increased airflow. It smells really good. It smells like Cupertino. Like if you're ever in Cupertino, just take a whiff of that fresh air. And this is what it smells like. Look at all of these ports. This is definitely something that I'm excited about, especially using my MacBook so often and having to use a dongle just to be able to actually use my laptop. Okay, let's see what else we have in here. Little tiny papers. Do I not have any stickers? But you always give us stickers. Here they are. Oh, wow, I was in quite the panic. Found. Power cable. Have you seen one of these before? So here's the power button. Here's the port for the power. Ethernet, four Thunderbolt 3 USB-C ports, HDMI, and two USB 3s and a headphone jack. So some of the highlights in the new Mac Mini is it starts out at four cores, but you can upgrade to six. 60% 60 faster graphics than the previous version. You can max it out to 64 gigs of RAM. They've also switched all of the new Mac Minis to solid state drives, so this will also go up to two terabytes. Final Cut installed. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to start editing this video that you guys are watching right now. I know I'm always fascinated by looking at people's Final Cut timelines. So as I'm editing, I will also show you my Final Cut timeline of the finished piece so you guys can check it out. I'm also curious, do any of you guys edit Final Cut? What do you edit on? I would love to know. Leave them in the comments below. Oh wow, this is actually... So this was my MacBook Air video. currently watching, this is some weird inception. <laughs> One of the things that I wanna try out is connecting the Mac Mini to my iMac Pro. So if I'm editing or doing something, I can offload rendering to my Mac Mini so I can continue to do things on my iMac Pro. And I'm excited to test that out. Although it's crazy because my iMac Pro is so fast that a lot of times I will be compressing something and editing at the same time and it really doesn't hinder the performance. So that's cool, it's an option. During the keynote, they had a stack of them and it looked so awesome. It did actually look like a spaceship. This new space gray color is amazing. So let's watch something. I'm actually borrowing Jenna's 4K monitor. Let's watch a really great video from this one channel that I love so much. They were screaming out of their cars. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
I will see you guys in my next video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the Mac Mini. I would love to hear some of your use cases. Do you know anyone who has a Mac Mini? Do you have a Mac Mini? For me personally, this may not be the specific use case that I would need as a solution for my editing needs because I do have an iMac Pro. I have a MacBook Pro that I edit when I travel, but this could maybe just be my new kitchen machine. I think if Jenna lets me keep her monitor, we can... That's a gaming monitor. It is your gaming monitor. This thing is really nice. I can't believe it. I've never gamed on this before. It's nice. I have the Ben Q ones. I should look into this LG one. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I have a really fun iPad video coming out for you very, very shortly as soon as I get done shooting and editing it. So look for that soon. I will see you guys later. And don't forget about the MacBook Air or iPad Pro giveaway. There's more information about that video in my MacBook Air video. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.